Hello everyone, Morot here, and we're playing Fallout New Vegas again. Uh, I'll be honest, I have no real plans of for this episode. I'm, I'm probably just finishing this quest and nothing more because uh, I have to be like leaving in four hours, something around that, for the holidays, and you know. Eh. Eh. Why are you not dead? Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be recording for long, so I'm gonna try to like speed run this uh, quest or some shit. You know, just do whatever I can to be done with it uh, ASAP because I don't have the time. Wait, you can climb. Oh my god, I should. Okay, well, I wasted ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna. This video is gonna be like very scaled back. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything fancy and anything like that because I don't have time. I, I'm literally just rushing to uh, make an upload. And you know, probably not the best of ideas because. Uh, Rushed uploads tend to be shit. Well, uh, you know, post something, anything. Okay. This vault tech machinery is so fragile. Give me a second. I had to jerry rig this elevator a few days, and it's on the fritz again already. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's got it. See you upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna upload this and hope for the best. You know. It's, it's always to upload something than nothing on YouTube. I really need to hurry up because time's a wasting. Oh, here you are. Hello. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yeah. Sure. What can I time do? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. Yeah. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Uh... Okay. Give me some info. I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Okay, fifth Typically, level. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Okay. In the area where the gas is mm -hmm. active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, huh. even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. I'll take the nades. Uh, yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Good. Sorry for paying me. Uh, you said there was a bag of grenades. I could use those. So, it's not like I... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna bother with those. Just give me my war crime gun. Uh, yeah, it has enough fuel. And we're going to level 5. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that gave me a scare. Okay, okay. Um Okay, but now I'm no now I know what I'm looking for. That's that's great. I I'm totally not high on copium. Uh Okay. What is the distance that I can actually do it from? That's a... that's a... 
Longer is fucking range. <laughs> My gun is vibing. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll try a laser or something. Do I have a laser? Uh, I got one small rifle. I mean, I guess that could work. How do I survive this? How? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I can close the door. Nope. Oh, it blew the door open. Never mind, okay? I'm... There's no way. There is no fucking way to survive this. Kelly, you, you, you're out of your fucking mind. I suppose you have question. Uh. Oh yes, I imagine there'll be quite an explosion when the gas gets set off. Fire will probably expand throughout the entire level in mere moments. How am I supposed to survive that? That does pose a problem, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it if does. If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off, you might be protected from the blast. Then again, the flames will probably blow into the rooms down there. Maybe if there were a room that was reinforced, well, I'm sure you'll figure something okay, out. Reinforced room. Okay, uh, you know, let's ask Lore. A few things here and there. But a lot of the data has been corrupted, and all the live samples have been contaminated by the spore plants. One interesting thing I found is that one of the chemicals secreted by the spore plant serves as a mild stimulant when ingested by humans. As far as I can tell, it has no side effects or addictive properties. Aside from the inherent psychological ones, of course. Now that I think mm -hmm. of it, there was a Corporal Farber back in McCarran who'd probably be interested in it. There's a sample of it around here somewhere. Well, I'm from not... what I've been able to determine, the scientists here managed to breed them by combining traits from two distinct plant species. The resulting hybrid proved to be more adaptable than expected, however, and soon became a threat to humans. Huh. It's sad. Shocker. Really. All those wonderful minds undone by their own irresponsibility. I don't hubris. Don't don't suck the. They got what they deserve. They tried to play God and God fucking fucked up for it. That's a very good question. Actually, I didn't come up with it. The systems were already set to pump the gas when I first arrived here. I believe the scientists were in the process of attempting to ignite the gas, just as we're about to do. And by we, I mean you. Of course. Uh, was the scientist? Something prevented them from igniting the gas, obviously. I suppose it's possible that the gas triggered some kind of defensive reaction. Hordes of previously slumbering creatures may have awoken and entered a killing frenzy, ripping the hapless scientists into quivering, bloody chunks. You'll have to let me know when you get back from going downstairs. Great, you're a huge fangs, okay. What the fuck were you doing in the cave? The mantises cave? and spore plants virtually ignored me for most of the time I've been here. It was only once I began to investigate the fifth level that my presence began to agitate them. I guess I was a little too close to home for them. A few days ago, I was attacked by a large number of mantises and was knocked unconscious. When I woke up, I was in that cave. The mantises seemed to feed some of their prey to the plants. Fortunately for me, it appears the plants are disinclined to eat ghoul meat. Well, you got lucky. Okay, where are those grenades you were talking about? Because very clearly... I mean, I'm... I very clearly know what I need to do. I need to throw a nade and hide in a door that is reinforced. I'm pretty sure I know which door is reinforced. But where are the fucking grenades? Okay. Here are the fucking grenades. Thank you, game. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I have fragments, but th those won't probably, probably won't work. Okay. So my plan is simple. Uh, I'm gonna go to that data download room. That seems to be. Uh, what in Sam Hill? Don't get a perk. Thanks, game. Okay. Just in case I'm wrong. This room seems reinforced. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now yep. all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Uh, will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. Eh. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I mean... Well, I did ex... I, you know, I'm trying to get paid. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Are those valuable? To someone, I'm sure. But they constitute a threat to life as we know it. Now give me your arm already. Uh, you know what? I'm a greedy bastard, but I'm not a self-destructive greedy bastard. Glad you're thinking clearly. I was afraid to blink there for a second. There, all done. That wasn't so bad, was it? I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run long now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, Tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Oh. You, you were supposed to give me don't, shit. Don't mind me. I have to wrap things up here. Gather my gear, that sort of thing. You, you owe me shit. Okay. I, I, I'm not delusional, right? She said she was going to give me shit. Okay. Whatever. All I'm gonna say... I could have lied. Yes, but honestly, when dealing with this shit, lying ain't my priority. I mean, sure, I'll do anything for caps, but not something that will fuck me over in the long run. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy, man. I'm a greedy bastard, but I'm not stupid. I'm not a stupid greedy bastard. Hello. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Uh, sure. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Okay, and uh, what about you? I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Destroyed. Really. I find that hard to believe. More uh, likely, no. you failed to locate the proper server. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> before you. Yeah, th this is my. Keely. It was Keely, wasn't it? Who else would fail to give a fuck that thousands of people are going to starve without that data? And for what? So Keely can wage a selfish little war against me and the OSI. You're an accomplice in this. Keely is one old woman. You could have easily stopped her. You're either incompetent or you're on her side. Now get out of this office. You got a problem? What are you doing in my office? You're not welcome here. Get you got out. a fucking problem? I'm pretty sure she told you enough. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've gained more karma helping them. I think I deserve some balls, you know. Good, good stuff, honestly. Okay. What quest do I have active? Uh, this shit is. I don't understand this shit. Uh, this is main quest. Uh, this is also main quest. Wait, which one is the main quest? Oh, this is the main quest. Yeah, th this guy. Yeah. Uh, eh. Why isn't this quest completed? What? Okay, I guess this is the only thing I got. Uh, Okay, I can at least do something, I guess. Okay. That's a one. Vendors. Well, I guess I can try to sneak some shit from them. Can I help you? Yes. Can I get a tool? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high end weaponry comes from pre war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Mm. Yes, I understand, but for business. Uh, oh, you can play caravan. I still have not learned the rules. Shit. Completely forgot that existed. Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. So, you work for, for around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Okay, who are they? Makers of the finest high grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. You ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware? There's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Okay. Hey. Welcome, sir or madam. Uh, let's question the this robot. Is the he, he's gonna steal the beans. The gun runners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armament since 2155. Okay, where'd you get this All shit? All gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. Okay, and how'd you get inside that box? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Okay, that's fair. Guess you can't have him. Uh, what? What? I need ten more points in lock picking to get out of here. I mean, get in there. Okay, so. Oh, what? What's with the game right now? Look at Discord and fucking task manager and suddenly everything runs smooth. I don't understand a thing. Whatever. Uh, I could be doing other things for this quest. Or probably uh, much better would be to do a different quest to get that lockpick into 50. But I don't think I have time for that. Now I have like 3 hours. To actually, you know, 
edit this, upload this. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore this uh, gameplay. I need to edit this, upload this, and you know, I wanna get some sleep. So, yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!